Uh, yeah, I'm still sick. But I really want to fix this thing, so... We're going to get into it. Let's do it. Alrighty. This is where we're at at the moment. We've got headlights that we know work because when we dismantle this indicator stalk and plug it in, everything comes on. High beams, low beams, everything. The issue comes when we plug this back together properly, as it should be, and then put it in. For some reason, it's preventing the low beams from coming on at all. So what we're gonna do is pull this apart and try and figure out why exactly that's doing it. And I think I've got a pretty good idea, but I'll explain with the GoPro. Alrighty, so to start off with, this is what we've got. I've taken this plate off on the back so you can actually see what's going on in here. So you've essentially got these little piano key like things. And when you move the switch, it positions different ones in a different sequence to essentially make a connection. The first thing I'm noticing here is that these two are not touching in any position that we put it in. I don't know why they wouldn't be, like if there's a position where it's maybe it's just clogged or but I doubt it. We'll just pop this apart and then have a look. I've done this a couple of times now, but I still haven't figured out the issue. <laughs> Good fun. Every time. So in the main housing, you have this section here, which goes to this, which is completely unrelated to the blinkers, or sorry, to the, that is the blinkers. It's completely unrelated to the lights. And then you have this section here, which literally just goes back and forth. So there's flash uh, off and, then on or something, I don't, I'm not too sure. And then there's this thing. So you can see, as soon as we take this off, this is immediately dropped down and these are now making a connection and closing the circuit. And that's why when we put this in the car, all the lights come on because all of these are connected, basically means all the signals can, you know, be free to go through. So I'm guessing that's supposed to be going down in some position, but it's just not. I think that's what the issue is. She raises the question, if I just take that black piece out, so that this is never being pushed up, so that this is actually always being making contact, will that solve our issue? I'm curious. So let's try that. This is the inside of the switch. It's weird because the two outside ones are the same. Must be the ground, I guess. And that's the, the power or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. I have no idea. But what we're going to do is take out this one. And just take that out. It's so now fully back together, just without this little thing in it. And then... Back in this sucker. Alright, let's chuck this in and just see if that makes a difference. I hope it does. No lights should be on. Good. And then if I just turn my low beams on, like I'm driving at night and I see some sucker in front of me, there are my low beams and my fog lights, I guess. And then, yeah, yeah, I know, just shut up. And then if I, Okay, I think that's actually just fixed it. Interesting. Well, we can either have just the higher beams on, just the low beams on, or we can have both of them on, but they're both a little less bright than they will be on their own, which I guess makes sense. Kind of, I think. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the headlights. Jeez.
Uh, that's the headlights fixed, or the electrical side of the headlights fixed. Um, now, I want to try and figure out why the dash lights won't work. And by the dash lights, I mean the lights for this sucker here. All the lights that you see should light up when I turn the interior light on. And for some reason, they don't. Um, now, the back of these is pretty busy looking, but just from a quick look, it, it's not too hard to sort of understand. All right, I've got the multimeter set on whatever setting this is. Basically, it means when there's a closed circuit, it makes a noise. Now, I can tell by looking at all the major um, parts here, which are the, the globes. Each one of these has this circuit sort of running and then touching each one. This comes in, runs up here and goes Yeah, see? And that checks out because that's a negative. Maybe that's a negative then. Yeah, okay. So positive, negative. And that one right there, I'm gonna presume is just fine because the rest will seem to rank right. Okay, so we can assume it's probably not this then, and maybe an issue with how the power is getting to this in the first place, or maybe a lack of power. This one goes into there, this one. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's this one and it looks like it's spliced off to that, which is going to fuck knows what over there. Supposedly, and the negative is just underneath it, so if we go into that and onto that. Ah, fuck. Okay, so we're not getting any power to our dash lights. So we have a blue and red wire here, and then we have a blue and red wire here. And they've snipped this, and they've fed this into something else. So he's taken the power from there, and he's looped it into something else, and then brought it back via this thing, which maybe he had wired up as, an, as a separate switch. If I test that, for 12 volts or for whatever the battery is putting out at the moment. It's dying. And then I put this on where a negative should be. Ah, there you go. I'm getting a measly six volts. But <clears throat> if I then, I, I couldn't be asked to work out what he's plugged that into, but maybe it's as simple as just splitting those off and putting that into there, but I really do want to know what he's wired this shit into. Onto this dodgy wire for a start. All right, now that I know that this wire isn't actually going to anything that I still currently need or that is still currently hooked up, <coughs> I'm pretty well free to just lop that off there and rewire it back onto that and then that should give us our power back. Oh, there you go. Oh fuck it, that'll do. <sighs> now we should be able to get nine nine volts, twelve volts out of the thing or however many are coming out of the battery at the moment, which is more like six. But that now means we have power to our dash, which means when I plug this in, it should light the dash up. Alrighty, it is a decent chunk of time later now. I had to wait for the battery to charge on the trickle charger because it ended up going dead flat. Uh, in that time I had to wait, I put the car back together and uh, put the inside back together as well. But now I get to show you the interior lights. Isn't that something? I don't realize they're gonna be blue until I turn them on for the first time, but yeah, they're blue. Just like this sucker. So I guess they had a theme going on, but I actually kinda 
don't mind it. It's actually a bit more blue in person than it is on camera. All right, this might turn out super grainy, but here you go. How good does that look? Isn't that sick? I think that's pretty sick. With the naughty, oh, too good. With the headlights working properly again and the interior lights actually working now, uh, that's everything I wanted to do on this car in this week's video and everything I wanted to get done, I did get done and it worked properly and there was no hiccups, which is actually a fucking sick week, even though I've been sick as a dog. 32 is fucking good for it. Um, now it's time to put the plates on and go for a drive. You'll have to wait for next week for that. I'll catch you then. Bye.